YouTubers, it's Lady Grave Dancer in the car. I should call this like car segment, like car witch talk. I don't know because there's going to be a lot of these now that I live way out in the boondocks. Um, I wanted to come on here. Oh look, there I am with my glasses on. Eventually I will realize that I do that before I push play. I mean before I push record. So anyhow, so what I am here to talk about today was a comment that was put in one of my videos that I, I can't remember which video it was in. Was it the graveyard dirt oil or it was the uh, mirror communication oil? I don't know. It wasn't one of those. Anyway, so someone, and this is not hate, okay? This is, this is not hate at all. So I don't want anybody to think that. But someone had put a comment and when you click on someone's, um, like not click, but if you scroll over someone's picture on YouTube, apparently it tells you how long they've been subscribed to you. And this person has been subscribed to me for three years from what it showed. Now I'm not a technique, technology savvy person. And I had just found that out whenever I had put my little mouse thing over their picture and it popped up and it was like, oh, so you've been subscribed for three years. But anyhow, blabber, blabber, blabber. So this person has been subscribed to me for three years and they put in the comment that they have used a lot of my spells and they've done my stuff and nothing ever works. They said, spells don't lie, but people do, basically calling me a liar about everything I do. This is that person's prerogative to feel that way, that's fine. That's not what I'm here to talk about. Well, it is, but it isn't. You'll see. Anyway, so what I'm saying is, and, what, and how I commented back, I felt like that is something that needs to be shared, so not the part about calling me a liar because what the fuck am I lying about I'm using all this stuff but what I explained to her is that a lot of people are I felt like it was her but it could have been a him a lot of people use the exact same things that I do what I do is not new this is not new none of this stuff everything that we do has learned and it's been done by someone else before so by her calling me a liar she's calling everybody else a liar that practices the same way in similar ways and I also told her, I said, it's very unfortunate that you approached me this way because had you gotten a hold of me privately, which I know isn't always easy to do because I am busy and I get a lot of messages, but I do respond to most people. I do the best I can. I'm only one person. But I told her, I said, if you got in touch with me and approached me differently than here, I would have helped you on a one-on-one -on -one basis to work through your slump because what this person is in is in a slump. You can't expect to go and get mixes and not put any of your intent or energy into it and expect it to work you can't expect to watch one of my videos and just throw stuff together like you're baking a cake without any magic in it and think that it's going to work yes everything has its own energy if you're tapped into it you can feel it if you're not, which I think this person isn't then it's not going to work for them if you're not feeling the vibrations I don't know what to tell you. What we do is we manipulate the energy to make our magics work. But if you are putting stuff together like you're baking a cake and leave it there and expect it to work, then you're crazy. It's not going to. It's just not going to happen. It's just like people who do um, spells to look for a job, but they don't. They, they don't go looking for work. Like you still have to look for work. It's going to come to you. You still got to fill out the applications, though. You know if you're looking for love but then you don't leave the house like it's not going to work that way stuff is not delivered to you on a platter through witchcraft it doesn't work that way we don't get those silver platters knock 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 here's uber here's your job knock 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 here's uber you know here's the love of your life it, does, it doesn't work that way we have to put a lot of energy into the work we do as as practitioners as witches we have to put a lot of energy and the workings that we do. I share things that I use, and then it's it, it's your job, if you, not your job, that sounds rude, I'm sorry. Then it's up to you to make it, and then make it your own, okay? And if you buy anything from my shop, you will feel my energy in all of that stuff because I put a lot of energy into it. I'm exhausted after I fill orders. Like, I'm exhausted because I put so much energy into everything that I do. But at the same time, you still have to put your energy into it and do what you're going to do with it. You know, my money oil literally has like 100% like on the um, 
what do you call it reviews because it's really good it's amazing i've used the same exact bottle for shit 13 14 years same exact bottle that oils in and it's the same oil that i personally use that i sell on my shop so you know you still have to do your work you can't expect for it just to be like like i said delivered to your front door because you put some herbs together and you lit a candle and you didn't do anything else it doesn't work that way <sighs> i'm telling you i just i was so disappointed because i would have helped this person and i'm not saying that i still wouldn't have they messaged me i don't know i'm just that kind of person i'm, I'm just that kind of person and I, I get told all the time i let people walk over me but you know i just I'm a nice person and I like being a nice person. I like helping people. If I didn't, I wouldn't make videos because, you know, I share and, and, and why would I share if I didn't care about people? You know, if, it, if it's something that works for me, I'm gonna share. It takes a lot of energy to do what we do, you know? It just, it doesn't just come from nowhere. You can pull from the earth, you can pull from the sky, you can pull from, uh, you can go to that tree and pull from that tree. You can pull from the moon. You can pull from the sun. You can you can pull from everywhere. Energy is everywhere, and turn it into your witchcraft. Like it just into your craft. I know some people don't like being called witches. I've discovered that in the last couple of years that people don't. Some people don't like to be called witches, and that's fine. You can be called whatever you want to be called. It's totally fine. My uh, grandmother, and my great grandmother, and my great great grandmother, they, they didn't like to be called witches, and they were, and it was kind of frowned upon. So, and they didn't like it and they didn't call themselves witches and it's exactly what they did but you know anyways I'm getting off topic yeah I don't know if y'all watch if you watch the um the uh spirit seeking video that I put up where my mom was with us let me tell you I love when my mom comes with me because when it's just me and and my son or me and my cousin or me just in, me and someone else who doesn't really practice much of anything I'm exhausted when we're done with those because I have to put up so much protection and so much cleansing as we're doing stuff. Like I flow energy like constantly when we're spirit seeking. But when my mom was with us, I let mom do that. And it was so nice because I wasn't exhausted <laughs> after it. And usually I'm just like dead. Like I am so tired after we do a spirit seeking because of all the, the energy that I'm, I'm using up. You know, it's like you, I ran a marathon. And I need something sweet. I usually go with orange juice or pineapple juice or something afterwards. Or Dr. Pepper. Which isn't as healthy, but it's very sweet. Because I'm so tired. But it was nice. Um, we are supposed to be going to another little... Um, it's supposed to have been a subdivision of some sort. And it's one city over from us. And they never completely built on it. And I'm not sure if there's any houses or if there's just a few houses there. But it's a gated community that didn't get, you know, built. You know, they just didn't do anything with it. And it went through a couple of owners. And when we drive by, we keep getting pulled over there. So we are going to sneak into there. Because <laughs> we are trespassing. It just is what it is. We're going to sneak over there. And then we are going to, that will be our next uh, Spirit Seeking video that I post. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Now, my mom won't be with us. So I will be exhausted at the end of that if there's anything in there going on it may not be haunted or spirited at all but i doubt that because out here in the country everything is just everything has activity yeah so i'm looking forward to that and if you watch the um spirit seeking video lone oak texas that we posted look in the comments because people found so many uh voices there was one person that heard shh grandma grandpa it is clear as day like I backed up to that timestamp because they put the timestamps people who put comments so I always suggest you read the comments because there's so much sharing down there um, they put the timestamps on where they heard something and I went back to these timestamps there was a baby crying or laughing there was some kind of a little bit of music playing there was someone that said shh grandma grandpa it was so clear the humming we found the humming the footsteps like there was a lot going on in that video uh, I'd go check that out. Mom is there too. It's always fun when mom gets to come out with us. I live a little over an hour away from her now, so we don't get to spend much time together. But when we do, we 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 enjoy it. Yeah. So, anyways, way off topic of what I made the video for. <laughs> don't forget when you're doing your spell work that you have to put your own energy into it, your own spin into it. And 
and it's never guaranteed that things are gonna go your way every time but just don't give up for me if a spell is not working I will try to change it up switch it around a little bit try it somewhere somewhere uh, try it somewhere else sometimes I'll like if I'm doing it in the house I'll take it to the yard it's not working there then I'll take it to like a forest or you know it depends on what I'm doing take it to work take it to the lake it just you know whatever you're doing sometimes you have to relocate where you're doing the spell sometimes you have to relocate how you're finishing the spell sometimes you need to put it in water sometimes you need to maybe bury it if it's something you're like trying to end or if it and i don't think burying means the end because earth keeps going and i feel like when you bury stuff that could be something that is kept going because when you bury a seed what does it do it plants a flower you plant a tree you get a tree you plant a a rose bush you get roses so I do feel like you can bury spells and it continue to grow just me you know that's just me that's just how I do but maybe you need to switch stuff around sometimes spells don't work for me and again I will completely change it I'll stop start from scratch or add to some more or add more energy or relocate like it just takes work <laughs> it takes work and I'm not gonna lie when I first read that message I was like I was like that's like rude but it's her reality everything that she was trying wasn't working and again i would have helped had she got in contact with me like i do with a lot of people like what can i do for you how can i help you kind of situation i try to help as many people as i can i can't help everybody like if you even had any idea how many messages i get i love the messages and honestly if i didn't have a full-time job i'd probably answer every single one of them and help every single person but unfortunately i do have to work another job on top of the shop it just is what it is so yeah i might do another video while i'm driving i have another one that i have to edit still on my computer and then i got this one and then you know i'm just gonna keep the videos coming i'm reading the comments getting uh video ideas or video suggestions from everybody so in the comments you got suggestions leave them there i do read all the comments i may not be able to answer all comments but i do read all of them so yeah and share in the comments below if you have any experiences where your spell work did not work and you had to switch it up tell us what you had to do share and maybe this person will come and read and realize you know you just got to tap inside some more you know and there's times where you're being blocked because you have other stuff going on and you just got to get past it or you know it's just not the right time for it you got to come back to it there is a mountain of reasons why a spell wouldn't work i mean it can even go back to needing to do shadow work or going back to your ancestry you know it just depends on what you're doing how you're doing it you know why you're doing it it just there's a mountain of reasons there's no way we'd be able to cover everything in one video so yeah i'd love to hear from you guys and see if there's any experiences y'all would like to share all right thank you guys so much for watching i'm really enjoying the interactions i'm having with everybody and uh, i've missed it so much so i'm so happy to be back all right thank you guys bye